Hey YouTube, coming at your viewer submitted team uh, from Phil. So I'll read the write up in a second. But as you're gonna see, the fast move, the amount of fast moves it takes to get to the charge moves. I had to put them to right. I was putting them to the left, but then I got Dragonair, which is a one turn fast move Pokemon. So the numbers are not just single digits; they're all double digits. So I put, if I put them to the left, even with moving these Pokemon to the left, they would be too far over. So I just put them to the right. Again, I'm trying to make these like the best visual for you guys, um, but I'm trying to figure out what is where it is best to put it. Maybe if I keep them like here, it looks actually decent, but um, I don't know. I can put it like in brackets directly directly beside the move, um, or I can put it just leave them all over on the right column, or I can move everything to the left. Let me know in the comments below what you think is the best way to do this, because I am not great visually. Okay, so the write-up says, um, I was using Clawsire, Fraligator, Amanda Buzz with mixed results. I then took a look at PV Poke's most consistent Pokemon, and Shadow Dragonair, Dunsparce, and Dugong were three of the top five. Uh, I'm running them ABB style with Dragonair in the lead and swapping Dugong to draw out a fighter, leaving Dunsparce to roam free. This team works better in reality than it does on paper, but it's not without its flaws. I went 3 and 2 and 5 and 0 oh, uh, in the first two sets before going 3 2 and 2 3 in the later sets that I've submitted. Keen to get some brutal feedback, I'm still learning when to switch out. So you said dra Shadow Dragonair. Uh, let me just actually see if it is Shadow Dragon on the lead, and then I'll go over. Yeah, it is. Let me put the Shadow in. Okay, so what does consistency mean when it comes to Pokemon, and why is it important? So um, consistency means that even in bad matchups, these Pokemon still do okay. So why is that? Well, you have Dunsparce and Dugong that provide you two things. One, they're very bulky, and two, because they're moves have such coverage even in bad matchups you do okay right because if dunsparce is only weak to fighter uh, but they still have a drill one that can kind of spam and you, have, you can take a lot of damage with the because you're bulky dugong same thing weak to like electric but you have super effective drill on for ground you have flyer coverage on both of these and, and steel coverage on both of these so because they're bulk and because they're spam pretty fast and because um they have such coverage moves uh the consistency is high because even in bad matchups you're still doing all right. So when it comes to consistency, it's those sort of bell curves. I don't know if it's bell curves or the, the distribution curves. Um, basically, if, if Pokemon, can, like let's just give an example for Bastion. Bastion can get absolutely walled by a Mud Boy. So it's going to lose some matchups with a score on PvP Poke of like 150, 200, right? So it'll be like, you'll have some big, big losses. You'll have some big, big wins. So it's kind of a wider distribution. The consistency with Dugong and Dunsparce is, your losses and your wins are going to be much closer together. So it's going to be like a tighter curve more towards the middle. And that's the consistency. And Dragonair is the same, but not for the same reason. Dragonair is like that because the Shadow Dragon Breast does not care about your typing, realistically. Um, I have gone Shadow Dragonair against Steels and won because even resisted Dragon Breaths on Steels adds up an insane amount. Um, so that's what makes Dra Shadow Dragonair consistent. So when you have three consistent Pokemon um, where the distribution, like the win-loss distribution is more in the middle. Um, it just makes the games closer, makes everything safer, uh, stuff like that. So it's not without its flaws, but it just gives you sort of more consistency in your wins and losses. So again, bad lead here. Um, going into the Dugong, which they said they wanted to. This is kind of an interesting one. You could have gone Dunsparce where you could have... Dunsparce is just as good of a safe swap as Dugong, right? Uh, both are very, very, very strong safe swaps. Dunsparce would have had at least neutral with the rollouts, but at the same time, the bubble is also resisted on Dugong. So even though your Ice Shard is resisted, the bubble is also resisted. So it's not like it's that big of an issue that your fast move is resisted. They eventually get into Tox Specs. And again, this is what I'm talking about. Just the coverage with these drill runs is big um, for a lot of Pokemon here. So they do land a Sludge Drive and it does take them out. Going in Dragonair. Um, going to throw the Body Slam because Aqua Tail is resisted. So even though Body Slam got nerfed, we still need to throw it. Uh, they may get to a move here. Yeah, 1 HP is kind of tough because this will basically take out. Oh, no, it's just Brian. Never mind. If it was Sludge Wave, it would have basically taken out, but it's not. It's just Brian. Bubble is also resisted. So this is what I'm talking about. Bubble is also resisted. You get to the Body Slams. Now, Body Slam got nerfed, which makes Dragonair a little worse than it has been. But between the dr resisted Dragon Breast and that, uh, you should be okay. Unfortunately, 
oof, you are met with a ground type Pokemon, which means that uh, the rollouts are resisted, and this thing is just gonna your the draw ends are non stab on same type attack bonus on Dunsparce, so they're not gonna add up too much on Diggersby because Diggersby is so tanky. So Diggersby is gonna be able to eat like four of these while at the same time throwing same stab scorching sands against you um and then you got the bad line for dragonair so this is just a really tough matchup so just trying to burn that switch cock and then just come back in here they got to move this game is pretty close to a top left there's not a ton you can do here um they just had you beat pretty badly in the back and on the lead right so these are the ones you just like chalk them up to um okay it's a loss like you can shield thinking that maybe they'll drop their phone or the game will just screw your opponent over. That's always a potential win con. It happened to me the other night. I was so, so pissed. I had them hard countered and then my game lagged out for 12 moves. And then when I came back, one and a half of my Pokemon were gone. And I was just, I lost the matchup when I should have just killed it. Um, so it's always a win con. But otherwise, the actual win con of battling is not happening here. So Dragonair against an Ice, um, another bad lead and another bad switch. They do get a move off. Let's see if you're going to commit the shield. We'll commit the shield to try to lower their attack first. To lower the rollout and the rock slide. Um, trying to basically flip switch so you can have your own matchup like this on the other end. Um, they do get to rock slide. Rock slide has been nerfed. So with the nerf and with the lowering of the attack... Not enough to take them out. Um, going to throw the Icy Wind. Probably still not enough to take them out from this range. But they will come with the shield just in case. Uh, at this point they are two times lowered. So you could just let this go. Um, and come and farm with the Dragonair. Not shielding up this move because they are two times lowered. If you want you can chip right you can chip with Dragonair but you don't need to you have a rollout user so I would actually probably just come in right away cuz this this damage is pretty useless overall cuz you need Dunsparce to be able to do most of the damage anyways. So chipping like that and just taking a couple extra ice shards is probably not worth it in my opinion. I would rather bank that energy and just come in Dunsparce which has a good matchup anyways. So Claude Sire another ground on the back but at least this one is half poison. Which means that these draw runs will be super effective, but unfortunately with neutral poisons and a pretty quick charging earthquake, uh, they'll get in here pretty quick. So shielding up, uh, aware of the switch clock, maybe go back to ba either back to back draw runs here, like one more rollout in a draw run, or just instant swap. Yeah, I like the instant swap. This thing is essentially useless, so banking some energy. Um, taking it out just before they get to the move. This will allow you to do a little more why would they shield? They bank that energy, but why would they shield when they have a rollout user over here? Okay, so burning that shield for absolutely no reason whatsoever, costing themselves this game. Um, yeah, that was a terrible, that was a terrible shield. Oh my goodness, they still won. And they still won. <laughs> I still don't think that's the right play. Don't get me wrong. They still won with 1 HP because they did bank a move and got to it. I still think you just let that go. You calm, you ice shard, you take the shield advantage um, and take them out there. But okay, they won. So what do I know? Okay, good lead. Um, as you can see, the Dragon Breaths are adding up. Worried about the Aurasphere, even though it's resisted. Or a wheel, sorry. Not Aurasphere. Or a wheel. Even though it is resisted. Um, just worried that it would, it's like a 120 damage move on it, even resist it would do a lot. Uh, they do catch the body slam, which is just still neutral. Uh, getting in to your dugong, which is super effective ice. You're going to take a move, you already burn one shield. Oh, it's just a fire punch. So get this icy wind off here. Will not take out, but it will chip them significantly and lower their attack. At this point, you just commit to the farm down. Take the move, farm down. Come out with some energy. More Peko comes back in. And unless they're sacrificing it, I don't know what they're doing here. And 
instant swap on both of your ends um, to a Dragonair to a Ferrothorn. Now, moves on, I think, uh, maybe Mirror Shot on their end or Flash Cannon is neutral. But otherwise, every single move for both of you is resisted. The Grass is resisted. The Electric, if they're running Thunder, is resisted. The Body Slam, the Aqua Tail, everything's Dragon Breath is all resisted. Power Up still freaking hurts, though. Um, so that Power Up is still a very, very hard-hitting move on a... Is that a Shadow Ferrothorn? No, that's your Shadow. Um, so it still adds up. Getting to a move here. It's a neutral move. Maybe in the red. Yeah. And coming and sniping here. Now, going to shield this up. My only concern is they're going to... Oh, it's running C-Bomb. Someone asked me about C-Bomb in the comments. And I didn't give my opinion because I don't have an opinion on it. I did not look into Seed Bomb. Um, on more Peko, let me just quickly look at it. Because I ran Psychic Fangs or a wheel, most people do. Seed Bomb does 45 for 65. No. No, 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 no. I don't care. I get it. Let me just pause. I get kind of why you would run it. And you'd run it if you if you're like double weak to aura wheel being double resisted by ground seed bomb will hit super effective against ground so you would have an answer from that perspective um but 45 energy for 65 damage as appears opposed to the 45 for 120 basically only if it's only if aura wheel is double resisted is when you would want to use it even like single resisted versus neutral seed bomb single resisted aura wheel still does better so I'd rather just have the bait Psychic Fangs and the ability to lower their attack and then hit them even harder with Aura Wheel next time. I don't think Seed Bomb is the right way to go, in my opinion. So people have asked that in the comments, so that is my thoughts on it. Okay. Um, I noticed that you continue to throw Body Slam. Now, Body Slam got nerfed, and I think its damage per energy is now under Aqua Tail. And it is. Both 35 energy moves. Body Slam is 60 energy now. Sorry, 60 damage now on um, 60 damage on Dragonair and Aqua Tail is 66. So because Body Slam got nerfed uh, in neutral situations, Aqua Tail is the way to go. So we have um, a Bastion against Dugong here. Going Flamethrower. Um miss why they're going flamethrower not a super effective stone edge but okay um doing gets a foul play on instant swapping uh that now costs you this you do get some chip off here again aqua tail is the better damage per energy move but with a shield advantage uh, i don't like this there's no point of like save that for save that for sacrifice later there's no point of doing that where you come in with a Pokemon that takes one charge move, one fast move to be taken out. That Pokemon is way, way, way more valuable as a sacrifice potential catch option as opposed to just letting it go there. Um, and they let that go, um, hoping that the bulk and spam on Umbreon out bulks and out spams your Drapion. Uh, sorry, your Dunsparce. Also, not the right move here. Rock Slide got nerfed, and even before I got nerfed, it was not the better move to start with. So Rock Slide is only 65 energy. 60 is They're both 45 energies. Wow. Words. They're both 45 energy moves. Rock Slide is 65 damage. Drill Run is 80 damage. Do the Drill Run. There is absolutely no reason, unless Drill Run is resisted, there's no reason to not throw Drill Run in neutral situations. Um, say swap into Dugong, get the Quagsire, which is not bad, lowering their attack. They may have the Stone Edge here, but that's okay. If you lower their attack, you'll live it. Um, and then probably just outpace here. Unless they have like Mud Bomb, but if they do not, getting to the next move before, eh, at this point they could probably Aqua Sail you out. Uh, but do grab a shield, so that is big. I assume they'll go for the Aqua Tail. Like, you're really low, even though you committing the shield. And they threw the Stone Edge. So now you can get to another move here. They should be throwing Aqua Tail. I don't, yeah, I was about to say, I don't know why they're not throwing Aqua Tail. I don't know why you shield it either, quite honestly. But you actually do flip switch after lowering their attack twice. 
Okay, so you do flip switch. Um, so is this substantially better? Uh, tough to tell. Understand that you have a super effective drill run, but the raw rollouts are resisted. Taking a boom of an earth power with a defense fall. So they may shield and try and take you out with the... Nope, they let it go as well. Trying to snipe to not get that. And then the dugong here is rough. But, you know, these are the sort of things where... Yeah, they're going to lower your attack first. Yeah. I don't think you can get out of this one. I think that the ice shards are actually just adding up way too much. So you will get to another move here. But with the lowered attack and this the bulk the non-stab the nerf and the bulk of dugong this is not going to be anywhere close um how much energy do you have here not enough because they are at a move so this will take you out okay bad lead so we'll get out of here into dugong they are going slow Uh, I assume it's just a swift, which uh, with the stab wiggly is a okay move. So going straight drill run because uh, it is better damage per energy than icy wind, uh, and they do end up shielding. Uh, so definitely just going one more straight drill run. It'd be weird if they double shield. So just trying to do as much chip damage as you can here. Do take them out. So no, sorry, they take you out, but you got a shield. Out comes the Dunsparce. Um, I assume you will just let this go. It is an icy wind to lower your attack. Going to farm up a little bit and they catch on the Claude Sire. The resisted Rock Slide again. I don't know why you throw Rock Slide. It's the worst damage per energy by a mile. So throw the drill runs next time. This should be... Honestly, I should do like a... <laughs> Uh, I should just put like a, the, the fast move count, the fast move count is important, but so is like the damage per energy, which is just a better move. Like, but I don't have enough room to put every stat product <laughs> on my, on my limited sort of area here. So down a shield, um, did dragon breath it down, trying to instant swap into the Dunsparce. Out comes a go lurk, and again you threw the rock slide, which is not the right move. And again, this thing just gets caught. And the shield. Holy crap, what a series of events here. Um, do get to the draw run. Non-stab, I even though Golurk's glassy, I doubt this takes out. They'll have a move. They're gonna win CMP. Is it enough to take you out? Shadow on shadow, really attack heavy Pokemon. It is enough to take you out. Yeah, go lurk is just so attack heavy that those those moves really add up. So again, this is one of those dragon resisted by steel that is not bad. As you can see, like these dragon breaths are adding up and getting to a super effective aqua tail is helpful, right? So here we are already putting the, the Bastidon down to 50%. I think the shield is worth it because I think you can get to another move here and potentially force a shield here. And honestly, maybe even Flip switch if you want. And they go into... Oh my goodness. No. Looks like they got a full... Okay, two things. So definitely they got like a double Razor Leafer team. Because they swapped out into a Razor Leafer, which is instant grounds of... Okay, they got a Razor Leafer. Do you manage to snipe? Even though they probably had a move. So I'm guessing that's maybe a game issue. It is a Shadow Vic. Um, not surprising. We expect that with the Bastion on and a Razor Leafer. This one is not a Razor Leafer though. This one is a Magical Leaf. Um, and now we have the Dunsparce. I'm probably shielding anything here. Yeah, it sucks if it's a bait, but I do not want to take a Leaf Blade from a... It's not even a Shadow Vic. It's not even a Shadow Vic. It's just Vic, but still do not want to take that move from the Vic. Um, I'd rather take Bastidon. And they know that your bulk is going to outbeat them. Or it could be a spinning ball of death. Who knows? So low kicks is very glossy, but man, very attack heavy. So you two should be taking each other out very quick here. Uh, so just straight uh, damage moves. Get off body slam, which is neutral here. I would go dunce sparse, and you do. So this draw runs will be super effective again. 
Uh, it's still non-stab drill runs from a dense bar, so it's not going to be super, super hard hitting, but, you know, it's going to be decent. Getting it off before they get to a move. Are they not at Brine? I feel like a Brine would take out from this range. Uh, but managed to flip switch into a mirror match here. Because so we're just going to chip with this drill run. Um, you may get to another one if they try and just roll out you down. Yeah, which is good, but they are. So now, what do you do? You can't really, you can't really come in Dugong because you don't want to take super effective rock slides. And they're loaded. Uh, at the same time, Dragonair is low enough that you're basically going to have to shield if you want to survive anyway. So going to shield this, and eh, I don't know about this. I think you maybe should have come Dragonair. Dragonair has a little more health than I thought it did, as opposed to taking super effective rock slides here. So getting to the move. Um, low kicks is very attack heavy. Could have Trailblaze. And it is Trailblaze, so getting back into this matchup here. But they are up two shields to zero, but it does not matter because they have no Pokemon left. What are they doing? Okay. I think last one here. Uh, yeah, Dust Noir staying in this matchup, throwing the Aqua Tail. This probably grabs a shield because they're probably going to want to get one off as well. Um, wow, they let it go. And um, wow, you didn't actually take it out. I'm surprised. Shadow on Shadow and Dust Noir. I thought it was glassier than that, but okay. They live blindly swapping. I don't like the blind swap. Um, here's the thing. You're double weak to fighting in the back, but it's not like Dragonair is an answer to fighter, honestly. And why are we throwing the neutral draw run as opposed to super effective ice, icy wind that also lowers their attack? So... I'll give you a suggestion in one minute when this battle is done. Um, so do lower the attack, hit them with the super effective. Uh, Scorching Sands does land. Marowak in the back. Can we get to another move? We cannot. Uh, yeah, I got to come in here, but they're just going to outpace you. If you let this go, your dead sparse is in big trouble too with the resisted rollouts. Yeah, so they chip you now with the shield advantage. Um, Honestly, they're just going to... If I were them, I'd just double shield everything that comes their way. Because this Marowak is just going to add up real quick on the Dunsparce between Bone Clubs and... So, one drill run. They do shield. That's not surprising to me. Um, they can live one. This is resisted. Do you know your typings? What are you doing? Or did you think they would catch? Even if you thought they would catch, I don't think that's the right play. And they're at another move. Okay. Two things. One, learn your typings. Um, very, very questionable some plays. On the, there's two things you need to learn. One that's maybe specific to you and one that every single person should do before using a Pokemon. Number one, learn your typings. Um, actually, that does apply to everyone. Learn your typings because there's super effective moves like icy wind against ground whereas opposed to drill run ground is neutral like you should be throwing the super effective move number two what everyone should do is go to pv poke go to the pokemon you're going to use go down to the fast move and charge move click show stats look at the energy of the charge move look at the damage of the charge move look at the damage per energy of the charge move look at the secondary stats if there's like a buff or nerf to your attacker defense or anything or theirs so you know which move to throw like the very obvious ones here are drill run 80 damage move rock slide 65 damage same energy and i've already gone over the aqua tail versus body slam but just as a reminder shadow dragon air um both body slam aqua tail 35 energy moves body slam damage 60 aqua tail 66 so these are the type of things that really add up in matchups right throwing the right move that does more damage um even without this the uh knowing what is super effective or not just like knowing what actually does more is important but yes know your typings as well anyways that is it let me know in the comments below about the fast move timing here 
Um, and again, it would be cool to put the damage, but like, I just, there's not enough room to put all this stuff. Um, so I don't know. Unless, let me try something right now. Let me try something right now. I don't think it's going to work because I think it'll be too big. And then when I snip it, it'll be too small. But the best way to do it, because I check PB Poke like six times in a video and knowing the fast move counts, which they have here, is just taking a screenshot of the moves. So if I put that in, I don't think it's going to work because I think it'll be too small to fit all of them in is the problem. But let me just add, um, let me just see what it would look like. So here is, yeah, it's going to be too small. Because here's, yeah, because to make it it's this fit, it wouldn't fit. Yeah, it's too bad. Too small, unfortunately. Because this is, like, because this says everything, right? There's your, there's your dragon breath damage and energy. There's your aqua tail damage and energy. There's your move counts. There's your damage per energy. This is all the stuff that I referenced multiple times in a video. But unfortunately, to put it in this spot is useless because I can't read that at all either. So, uh, unfortunately, that is not going to work. Or uh, um, So, again, I, I think there's going to be too many numbers if I try and do too many things. So, I just may need to, like, discuss that in my videos. Anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.